In this lesson, we'll be looking at the organic family of alcohols, focusing on concepts required in the O-level examinations. First of all, we will look at the functional group of alcohols, and then the first four members, the structures and the molecular formula. The reactions of alcohols, combustion, oxidation. We will look at the manufacturing of ethanol, through hydration and fermentation and then finally we will look at the uses of ethanol. Alcohols are a series that has this hydroxyl functional group. The oxygen joined to the hydrogen here. Right. This single bond sometimes might not be explicitly shown in your notes or other textbooks. Right. Meaning sometimes it might be drawn where the carbon is joined to OH in this manner where they don't show the single bond. Right. For now, as a practice, we will write when we draw it, we will draw with the single bond. So this is a hydroxyl functional group. It will be responsible for very specific reactions within the alcohol family. Just like your double bond it will be the functional group for your alkenes family. The first few members of alcohols, just like your alkanes and alkenes, the first part of the name will tell us the number of carbons in the molecule. So we have one, two, three, four carbons. The second part of the name, or the last part of the name, will tell us that it comes from the alcohol family, the OL. So let's do the structure formula first. Methanol. One carbon hydroxyl functional group. So draw the number of carbons, draw the functional group first, and then you can draw the rest of the bonds for carbon joined to hydrogen atoms. Ethanol, two carbon ETH functional group. The rest will be hydrogen atoms. Propanol, three carbons. Functional group. You might be noticing that I'm drawing the functional group at the tail end of the form of the molecule on the extreme right is just a habit just to be consistent you could have drawn it on the first carbon it will still be the same right because it just flipped over but for propanol you might notice that instead of the tail end carbons we could also have the option of drawing it on the second carbon right that is still the alcohol family but that will be called proper 2 or because it's on the second carbon right for for to keep it simple, we will leave it on the first or the last carbon for now. Butanol. Right, so many carbons we can attach the hydroxyl group to. And then like I said to keep things simple, we put it on the last carbon. And then we fill up the rest with hydrogen atoms. So we have our first four structures of the alcohols. Be very familiar with ethanol, the second, the second alcohol. It will be one of the most uh, asked structures for O-levels right, in terms of its reactions. Ethanol will also be the most popular. So let's look at molecular formula. How do we write the molecular formula? We will put, although this is also a, a hydrogen atom like the others, we do not merge them in the formula because we want to show people there is a hydroxyl group, right? So what we do is, there will be two parts. 
there will be a CH3 and then there will be an OH right, sorry CH3 OH we do not we do not write it in this manner because it's hard for people to see that there is a hydroxyl group ethanol right we will draw the we write out the one on the left first C2 total of 5 carbon H5 and then we bring in the hydroxyl group propanol 3 carbons 2, 4, 6, 7 and then we bring in the hydroxyl group butanol C4 H9 and the hydroxyl group right, so sometimes if you forget the formula you can draw the structural formula and then you derive from it there are two main reactions of alcohols within the syllabus combustion and oxidation we will look at each one in detail combustion is when we burn the alcohol just like we do combustion for alkanes or alkenes and when they burn they produce carbon dioxide and water vapor so for example we have ethanol when it burns with oxygen we get carbon dioxide and water let's do a simple balance equation ethanol C2H5OH the two carbon alcohol if you can't remember the formula so fast draw the structure first oxygen gas O2 carbon dioxide water vapor so this is the equation we try to balance it now balancing the carbon first we have two carbons we need two carbon here hydrogen there's a total of six hydrogen five plus one here we must make six hydrogen on the other side so we multiply h2o by three and finally we tally up the oxygen we have four oxygen here and three oxygen here that means we must have seven oxygen in total here so here's where we have to be careful there is already one oxygen here so we need six on this end to make a total of seven oxygen right, so this is our balance equation for combustion of ethanol why is the burning of alcohols important? Right, because alcohols are used as fuels they are liquid so it's easier to transport than the gases like alkanes and when they burn they give off a significant amount of energy so we do use alcohols as fuels oxidation alcohols can be oxidized either by oxygen in the air or by oxidizing agents so what we have here is a simple setup we have ethanol heated together with oxidizing agent potassium manganate 7 the alcohols will be oxidized to become acid which will be covered in a later video so your ethanol will become ethanoic acid your potassium manganate it is purple itself will be reduced and when that happens it will be decolorized so we can oxidize alcohols by leaving them in the air or leaving them exposed to air or if you want it to be faster we can oxidize it with oxidizing agents and they will turn to acids